All right, here we go. Those big containers right there. I'll bring them out. And then I will use the Atlas to see if it's a good idea to use it to put them inside the ship. So here we go, putting them outside. I always do that. I always do that. I, um, I always do a two-step process when it's loading or unloading, right? Always get them out of the freight elevator and then uh, put them inside the ship. But I'm doing that separately. So we'll put back the um, freight elevator down there, get some more cargo, and then transfer again some of that cargo onto the uh, the outside. Go for s uh, for for containers, 96 SCU. That's gonna be quite a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to repeat the process over and over again. I'm probably going to edit this out as well, so you guys don't get to see it because it's probably going to be quite annoying to watch. So back with the max lift. Here it is. I just make a, a big pile of medical supplies. Oh yeah, that's medical supplies. I was wondering where I was. Yeah, it's yellow. I thought it was on selling, but it's actually yellow. I mean, you can buy medical supplies on selling as well. Go outside. And I'm going to be calling out some more here so we can have 12 containers of 24. Just checking if uh, anyone's coming as well. Anyone technically could be coming and steal those containers, uh, which also makes it quite risky, right? When, when you're doing when you are doing trade, it's something that CIG needs to balance, right? I can't understand why CIG have made it possible to have those containers on the pads. You can use tractor beams, you can use the Argo Atlas, put them on the pads, but then anyone can come. And anyone can get those boxes, put them into their shape, and run away. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Technically, you could have some escort chasing down the thief, right? But if you shoot them down, then you could be losing some of that cargo as well. So, CIG, uh, maybe it's time to get rid of the armistice zones at the outpost like that. So, we can defend ourselves when somebody is stealing our boxes. Wait until they actually make you have to put boxes in a certain way because other cargo could affect in messes with the flight. Uh, well, Kevin, it's already kind of the case right now. Uh, you have to put the cargo boxes in a certain way if you want to be as effective as possible and have as much uh, capacity as possible inside your ships. So that's what I've noticed here. You mean maybe when it comes to weight repartition, perhaps, but I would also say that if, I mean, if in game the ship manufacturers do the 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 ships like you know for example transport vehicles are done in the real world right now, I don't think it's going to be a problem, right? Because to avoid uh, vans being unbalanced, they also weigh the vans in a certain way so that when you have a lot of cargo in the back of your van, it doesn't drive like that. Uh, because a lot of the way would be also in the front. So I think that uh, probably in lore, that's also something that would uh, make sense. And probably there are, the manufacturers would do that as well. Uh, if, if that explanation makes any sense. Anyway, let's go onto the ship. 